Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we've got an absolute treat today. Well, not a treat for you so much, more of a treat for me because I'm the one eating these bad boys. Dan, sa Sata, Sata Andagi. Santa Andagi. I kept calling it Santa Andagi. No, no, do not call these Father Christmas Antigi. Antigi. Andagi. Sa Santa Andagi. Arigato. Santa Andagi. I'm going to tell you right now, I've never even heard of these. These are actually an Okinawan specialty. They originate actually in China, which a lot of people don't know. They originate in China, but then it become a staple in the Okinawans diet. It is their version of what us Westerners know as a donut. Not your Morrison's ones, but do they compare to the Morrison's ones? That'd be the interesting thing. Well, I'm going to put one on a plate for now because it's much easier showing you one or two. They all come out in a very unusual sort of shape. Apparently it's supposed to look like a person's mouth. I don't know if that looks like a person's mouth. To me, it looks like pure egg out of alien. But yeah, these look absolutely amazing. They're still warm. I want to eat them while they're still warm, see what they're actually like. Do they compare to donuts? They smell like a donut, like a cakey donut, like really, really cakey. Uh, they look very dense. People have made these all the time themselves, but how do they taste? I am excited for these. Uh, I'm not sure how much the pack costs, but I'll include that on the screen. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. It feels weighty. It does feel weighty. They do feel really, really filling. Anyway, let's try this bad boy. It's taking mess. Oh. They are very dense. They are dense donuts. They taste absolutely brilliant. It's like, it's good, it's good. <laughs> so good, chewy. So chewy, like, that's a lot of biting right there. I mean, the thing is with donuts, if you think about it, when I have like a Morrison's donut, that's to me, that's that's the peak right there for donuts. They are fantastic, especially when they're powdered sugared. I absolutely love it. This doesn't come sugared at all. Now, that almost gives it a unique sort of, a different take on this. To me, if you gave me this and I start chewing on it, I'd be like, really nice cake, a really chewy cake. Because it's not quite to the level of chew of a donut, because donuts soft chew. This has got a proper cakey texture, but requires a lot of chewing. The outside crust is so crispy and lovely. The inside's very soft, very chewy, but not stretchy like a donut. It is really, really delicious. And I just want to eat it again. Half an hour later. I'll tell you what, a bit of a contradiction here, but I feel like it's a sort of food that if you don't want to eat too much dessert, this is the sort of dessert that you could have to reduce the amount of dessert. Because you could not go through five, six of these after one another without having like a drink on the side or taking your time because in you, you require a lot of chewing to actually swallow it because they are very very dense they so delicious really really nice it makes a really nice change from a typical donut actually like from a typical donut or a typical cake it's like almost like an in-between i would say but very very different in my head i kind of want to dip this into some chocolate though i don't know if any okinawans do that but i definitely do want to do that but that's probably just me being greedy or being wanting more sweet. But the inside of it, it looks absolutely fabulous. I mean, I love this. And I think everyone, if they can get a try to make Tata Andaki, then please go ahead. I'm gonna probably eat a few more of these and probably have a little Okinawan nap. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope that helps you. I'm gonna finish, well, try and finish this. It's a long old bite. Uh, take it easy. I'll catch you soon. Bye.